house test. I prepared for another one year to appear another time for the test. And I went through it. And unfortunately at the time my father got himself a retirement. So my father said, okay, now you have qualified for, for, the, for the IBA, but unfortunately I cannot support you financially. So you have to come back. And I gave up my education there. Now you see, I was preparing for that thing for the very beginning of my career, academic career. All the way I went through very successfully. I've been a topper, achiever, but at the end of the day, I realized that I'm, I couldn't succeed because of the fate. I had decided to come back. And, you know, what I'm trying to say is, now, it, it took me all the way, I changed my profession, I went to sales, I was FSC, hardly FSC at that time and I joined the profession, I started with Abbott, you know, I kept on growing. I did my graduation during the time and I was there in, in, in my professional career. And I still, I'm not an MBA. But you know, I am taking the classes in different industries for MBA. Uh, I have many deportees reporting to me who are MBA. And now I feel like maybe this is something which you might have aspired for and when, even if it was not destined for you, but it does not mean that you are devalued, you have no value of mm -hmm. yourself at all. Because the God has set a pace for you and He knows the destiny, you don't know it. So I want to tell my friends here, no matter what comes in your way, even the failures, to look back. Because when you look ahead, someday you will realize that this, you have gone beyond what you had even planned. Great. Thank you very much.